If you want to know how I got from here to here, let me show you. So we got a Frigidaire stove here. We're just going to have to get to the back to gain access to the board. Um, when they put it into bake or broil, it doesn't do anything. It's got uh, 240 volts to the stove, but it just has no output at all. Um, there's no power going to the elements. So we're gonna take this panel off. Um, there's a bunch of screws around the perimeter. There's gotta be probably at least 15, but we'll get that, uh, get all those screws out and take this panel right off to gain access to the board. All right, so we got access to this board now. So um, if you haven't by now, um, definitely unplug it. We don't wanna be in this machine with <laughs> power going to it. Um, so there's four screws holding uh, the board onto the machine. So we're going to undo those and disconnect all the wiring and change the board out. I've already looked at the, uh, at the board um, before when I diagnosed it. Um, and yeah, it does not, it does not look good. You can definitely tell that uh, it's been blown up. It's, it's got no output to the, the bake or broil elements. So it's not, yeah, not any good to us. So these four screws, um, just be careful with them that you don't drop them inside this oven cavity part because it could fall down and you'd probably, <laughs> probably never find it. So you're gonna pull the board back and up just a little bit. So now disconnecting all these electrical connectors can be a pain, uh, especially that one right there. That actually took me a little while to get that thing off there. Um, so what we're gonna do now, before I put, um, or take, start taking any more wires, I guess, off of here, I'm gonna prep the new board. So they send you a sticker with the board. So you gotta put that sticker onto the front of your board, make sure it's the right direction and all that kind of fun stuff. Because once it's stuck down, it does not come off very easily and all the glue just sticks to the board. <laughs> So now that we got that on there, we're going to put, I'm going to attach this board to the machine with the other board just kind of hanging there from the wires. You can do this many different ways. You can take a picture of the wiring and disconnect it all or you know, things like that. But for something like this, I just prefer to do it wire by wire because I've had, I've disconnected wires before from boards and uh, the wire falls down into, you know, blow one of the other panels or something like that. And then you gotta take off other panels searching for it. It's a pain in the butt. So I'll do it this way. So it's just four screws to put it back on. Put those on and then we can start attaching um, our electrical. So I'm just disconnecting essentially one wire from the old board and putting it into the same location on the new board. It's, it's an easy way to do things, but we'll just do this wire per wire and make sure that we don't screw anything up. So as to why this would have happened, the customer asked me that and I, it could happen for so many reasons. A relay sticks inside and overheats. Um, I've seen lightning strike houses and fry circuitry like this. Um, it could have just been the fact that it's old and uh, decided it was going to give up. All right, so those are all connected. So we're going to put this back panel back on. Make sure when you put it on, um, put it on the right way, <laughs> but push the top part, all those um, kind of fingers of the top panel there go underneath the console and you'll see what I'm talking about when you go to put yours on but we'll put uh, we'll put all these screws back on all 312 of them and uh, we'll get back to the front of the stove so we're gonna set the time just hit the clock button 
Um, then you can hold the up or down arrow depending on which direction is closer. Um, once you get to that to that number, um, you can just hit the clock button again. So the best thing for us to do now is to test this machine. So I just put it into bake. Um, notice that there's still <laughs> pots and pans inside the oven. So we're going to take those out because we don't want to screw up anybody's pots or anything. Um, so I got it on um, a bake. I don't let it get too hot, but I just want to feel that heat come through the element. Once that heat's coming through there, you know you've done good. Okay, so we got a bit of a, uh, I guess, part two to this uh, video for the stove board. So that's the actual um, part number at 318-185721. And it's Electrolux um, control board. So let me get this stuff out of here. I just want to show you guys what, what the reason why we are changing it. And um, I had already looked into this just because I, I, I always want to know um, why why things fail. So um, there's little tabs um, all on the side here. You can see them right there, and there's some on that side. So you got to push in on these, or I guess push out on these little tabs, and this board will come out. It's kind of a pain to do just because there's so many of them. But let's see. And this is a, a double layer board also. So once you get the first uh, layer up and there, it's connected to a little kind of coil ribbon right here. But you can get one side out and you can kind of twist it a little bit. Get the other side out. Just don't twist it too much that you're going to break anything. So with these, um, you can use a pick or something like that. I just kind of use my finger in there and, and uh, actually, if I could grab another. There. Two screwdrivers might work better than, <laughs> than one. You can put the, the screwdriver down inside here and push out on that clip and push up on the the board but it's however you can do this is is just however you do it it's it's a pain in the butt and they make it that way so people don't really go in there so Let's try this other side. So yeah, I was uh, I was actually kind of shocked at how much this this one blew apart. Um, it really <laughs> it really blew up. So just about got it out there. I don't have to be exactly gentle because we're not ever <laughs> using this board or anything. So it's done. So. We've got it out of that case. Now, this is a board. Um, if you fold it out, you see what happened there. So, this residue on here is just a blowout from this side. You can see right there, this relay, um, this relay terminal right here is the one that blew out. If you look on the other side, that's that double relay. So if I had another stove um, that I could put this into, or if they wanted to actually use a rebuilt um, board, I could unsolder this relay, um, order one online, and then just solder it back in on all these points here and they'd have another board. You'd have to clean up everything and stuff like that. But yeah, I just wanted to show you guys that because I thought it was really interesting how they, how they blow out like that. Anyway, thanks for watching and uh, we'll see you in the next one.